It's a bankroll anyone would be jealous of. New Mexico has about three quarters of a billion dollars in money left over from last year's budget, with lawmakers expecting a surplus too. Some Democrats are looking for that money to be spent, most toward the cash-strapped education fund. But the governor says, hold on a minute. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is here with both sides of the debate. Crystal teachers have gone years without raises, and New Mexico's education system is near the bottom nationwide. So why not simply spend more? What would you do with $755 million? The question doesn't just apply to the pipe dream of winning the lottery. It's a reality for lawmakers preparing to head to Santa Fe next month. That big number is the state's cash balances, money left over from last year's budget, uninvested money, and far more of it than there's been in years. There are a number of things we could be doing with that money aside from just letting it sit there. Democratic State Senator Jerry Ortiz Pino says one place they could use the money are classrooms around the state, which saw serious cuts during the recession and recent state budget crunches. I mean, I just think uh, this is a golden opportunity to do something to make New Mexico uh, much more effective at preparing our young people for life. The governor agrees funding education is important. I am absolutely committed to making sure we reform New Mexico's educational system. We're 47th in the nation, and we've been there for decades. There is no excuse anymore. But she's not ready to spend that money in the classroom or anywhere else just yet. She says New Mexico might need it. According to a UNM study, the dreaded fiscal cliff, automatic cuts that kick in if federal lawmakers can't cut a deal, would cost the state about 20 thousand jobs. It's important to us to be prepared just in case and not handing out, you know, raises and spending because we have this nice uh, reserve without being cautious about what could happen next. Those cash reserves serve another purpose. They help improve the state's bond rating and cover any shortfalls if the money the state takes in doesn't meet expectations. Back to you, Crystal. All right, thanks, Alex. Now, aside from all of that, the state is projecting it will have about $210 million in new revenue it can use in next year's budget.